Hello everyone. Today I will show you a searching algorithm known as depth first search. It is an uninformed searching algorithm. So let's see what it is. Depth first search is a kind of algorithm which searches your search space keeping the logic of depth first. So let's see what this means. If you start your searching from here, this is the root node, these are its child nodes, and the last ones, they are the leaf nodes. Okay. If you start from here, say you have visited this node, and by visiting I mark it, I have shaded it. After that, you will visit the next one as such. And then, not this one, you will keep going to its depth. You will search this one. And then, you will search the last one, the leaf node. After you see that this has no more child, you will backtrack. You will backtrack and you see that this node has a child so you will visit this one after that it has no child so you will backtrack after that over here from here you will backtrack then from here you will try to visit this one and you can since it's not visited before after you visit this one then you will go and visit this child, then you backtrack, then from here you visit this child, and again you backtrack, and from here again you backtrack, from this one you again you backtrack to the first one, the root node, from here you continue the same thing over here, so let me go a bit fast, first you will cover this, then this one, then this one, then you backtrack, and you cover this one then you cover this one then this one and you backtrack then you cover this one then you backtrack backtrack so this is basically the depth first search algorithm to try to solve this we will use a kind of data structure known as a stack so what is a stack it's a kind of data structure where once you insert something and then followed by another thing once you try to uh, take them out, it will follow a last in, first out principle. Last in, first out. LIFO. Let me show you by an example. Okay, first you insert. So the, the keyword for insert is push. Okay, so you in, uh, push an object say call it an object A A now you push another object B then you push a third object C ok now you know the serial they have entered A followed by B followed by C now if you want to take them out you use the operation known as pop 
So let's pop those. The first element or object you pop is C. Let's remove it. The second one you pop is B. Let's pop it. And the last one you pop is A. Now you can notice that I have started, when I have started, they had a serial like this, A, B and C. And when I have popped them, they follow C, B, A. Last in, first out. Alright. Now, let me just orient you with the pseudocode of depth first search. After that, I will show you a concrete example of how you use this pseudocode and search uh, your search space like a tree or a graph. Okay. So you call the procedure, G is for the graph and V denotes your root node or the node that you want your search to start from. Let S be a stack, stack over here. Label V as discover. See, we have discovered them. And then push. While the stack is not empty, you do some work. What do you do? You, you pop from the stack, put it in a variable V. And if that's the goal node or goal, you return it or else for all edges, for all adjacent edges from V to W in G, in the graph G. So what does V to W mean? Let's look over here. If one of my node is V and the other one is W, all the adjacent or neighboring nodes of a node V is denoted over here as W. If W is not labeled as discovered, then perform these actions. What are those? Label W as discovered, W.parent equals to V. That just denotes from where it has come, who, who is the parent of the node, and push that node W. And you keep doing this until you have finished all of your neighbors and then after you have finished all of your neighbors you continue this loop until your stack becomes empty. Ok, let's see the example now. First, let's draw my stack and let's draw a variable or just allot it V. Okay, now let me show you the tree that the graph that I'm gonna use for this example. Say this is your root node B. And then next one, let's call it S. C. D. E. F G H Let's also connect this one. See, now it's a graph, not just a tree. Okay. Let's perform depth first search on this graph keeping a as my root node. Okay, let's begin. Let S be a stack, fine. Label V. What is my V? This is the root node is my V. Okay. 
Label it as discover. Let's mark it. Push. Okay. Well, the stack is not empty. It's not empty, so let's enter this loop. Pop and place it in V. Let's pop. Place it over here. Is it the goal node? No. For this example, I haven't yet set the goal node because I want you to see how the entire depth first search algorithm traverses this graph. Okay, let's just forget this one momentarily. Let's follow the next line. For all adjacent edges from W to V, adjacent edges, these two are the adjacent edges. Okay, let's follow what's over here. If it's not labeled as visited or discovered, let's label them. Okay. Label them. This one is also not graphically shown. And then let's push. Push B. And then again, follow the loop. Label S as discovered and push. After that, there are no, no more edges which are not discovered. All of them has been discovered. So this loop will exit and your line will come back to, your cursor will come back to this line, number 6. Okay, what it will do? It will pop whatever is on top of my stack and place it on V. So S is over here. Let's pop S and place it over here. S. Now do the same thing over here. Let's see. What are the neighbors of S? C and H, if we put them in alphabetically, let's visit C, mark it as visit, push, and then again, visit H, and push. Then all, all the neighbors of S are done, go to line number 6, pop, so let's pop. Now let's again do it for H. The neighbors of H, which are not visited yet, the neighbors are S and G, and G is the not visited one. So let's visit and push. And then again you come back to number 6, pop. Let's pop G. And Let's see. What are the neighbors of G? H and E. So E is the not visited one. Visit it and push. Okay. Now again, we have reached line number six. So pop. Let's pop E. Place it over here. Now in case of E, all its neighbors are already visited. They have been already labeled. So in case of E, these lines will skip and we will again go to line number 6. So pop. Let's pop C. C. Now the neighbors of C are D and D, E, F, S. So the not visited ones are D and F. So let's perform these. Mark D as visited. Okay, label it and push D. Same for F. Label it as visited and push. Now again, come back to line number six. Let's pop whatever is on top of my stack. So F is on top. Let's pop. F. Okay. F has no neighbors which are not visited. So again, it will not follow this. It will straight come to line number 6. Again pop. So D will be popped. D. No other neighbors of D have 
um, are not visited, all of them have been visited. So again, you will come back to line number six and pop. So let's pop B. Okay. Now the value is of V is B. You will see same case in case of B, all of its neighbors have been visited. So you will not uh, follow this and simply uh, you will not even uh, you will not even come back to this line because your stack has become empty right now. So once your stack is empty and the value is B, your program will exit and the depth first search algorithm has been completed.